Hey everyone, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back if you are returning or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back in the kitchen and I'm going to be sharing with you all my top five favorite Weight Watcher snacks that I have been enjoying throughout the month of July. I typically have been trying to do a grocery haul or some kind of cook with me, but because this week we were really busy, I didn't actually get a chance to do any cook with me videos and we also did not really need a lot of uh, groceries from the grocery store this Sunday, so I figured I would change it up and just kind of share some of the snacks that I've been really enjoying throughout the month. And as of today, I am down officially 11.6 pounds throughout the last month that I have been on Weight Watchers, so that is super exciting. I typically try to eat zero point foods throughout the day, especially for my main meals. I will stick with the um, you know the the zero point foods and just kind of use those as much as I possibly can. But when I am craving a snack or something like that, these have been my go-to. So I wanted to share them with you. So the first thing is the best, I think, because I'm just gonna reach over. It's been super hot. It's obviously summer, so yes, it's hot. And when you want that little sweet ice cream treat. I have been really loving these Yasso chocolate chip cookie dough frozen Greek yogurt bars. So one bar is five smart points. They look exactly the way they look on the box in the package. They're quite, um, you get a four pack of these. I picked these up at Walmart and they are 100 calories per bar. So even if you're not doing Weight Watchers, this is a really good snack and um, it's very, it's very nice to enjoy when it's super hot outside. So it says it's real Greek, real Greek yogurt, no high intensity sweeteners, no urethritol, and live and active cultures. So at the end, I will do like a picture shot of the nutrition facts. So if you wanted to see that, then you can take a look at that. And then also the ingredients. So I will share that at the end of the video, but this has definitely been one of my favorite things to have throughout this month just because it's been really hot and if you're looking for like that sweet ice cream treat, this definitely will hit the spot. The next thing I have been really enjoying is these Ritz Crisp and Thins Salt and Vinegar Potato and Wheat Chips. So they look like this. I also picked these up at Walmart. They have several different flavors. So if you're not a fan of the salt and vinegar chips, they have other flavors that you can try. And for 21 pieces, you get, well, you would have 21 pieces for four smart, smart points of these. So I like these on sides of things. So if we have like some kind of sandwich or even like a piece of grilled chicken and I don't feel like doing some kind of veggie or something on the side, this is kind of nice to have. And um, 21, 21 crisps is, is quite a bit uh, for a side there. So I really have been enjoying these. This is the second bag and we all like these in the house. So I will definitely be continuing to purchase these because like I said, if you're looking for like a salty, crispy kind of like chip type of thing, these are really good and we really enjoy them. The next thing we absolutely love, we almost went through this whole box already, is these um, Fiber One soft baked bars in the birthday cake flavor. So I picked up this big box from Walmart. Each bar is actually two smart points, so that's pretty awesome. They're very soft, they're tasty, they taste like birthday cake um, batter, and they look like this. Each bar is also 70 calories, and like I said at the end, I will focus in and show the nutrition facts, so if you're interested in them, it says that it's five grams net carbs, two grams sugar, and I have been really liking these just as a snack, like on my way home from work in between dinner, or if I just want something sweet, then these kind of do that. Um, they're pretty tasty, not huge, but they're not huge portions, but just enough for what you need to kind of satisfy that sweet tooth if you want something like chewy, um, but soft and tasty. The next thing, sorry, I'm kind of reaching at the table here, is I had hauled these in the last Aldi haul and I had pick, picked up two bags to try and I've already went through the first bag because this is delicious. So I found these at Aldi. This is the Lesser Evil Buddha Bowl Foods um, Himalayan Pink Organic Popcorn. 
So this, I don't know what it is about this, but it is so, it's so good. It's four smart points for three cups, which is quite a bit of a hefty serving for that. And these are extra virgin organic coconut oil and 110 calories per serving or 38 calories per cup. So this is like perfect for when you're watching a TV show at night, you want something to kind of snack on, just fill it into a bowl, measure out your three cups, and it's perfect, and I love it, and it's delicious. I don't know what it is about it. It's not sweet, but it's not like the, it doesn't taste to me like traditional like butter popcorn. It's just like perfect. So if you haven't tried these yet, definitely give them a try. I'm hoping that Aldi still has some today when I go there because I'm definitely gonna be picking up some more. And these are, this is a really good treat. And the last thing I have is another repurchase that I have been really enjoying. One of my favorite things to have as a snack before bed is some peanut butter with a Granny Smith apple because of the sweetness of the peanut butter and the tartness of the apple as well as the sweetness is like the perfect combo for me. So if you have never tried the Jif Whips Creamy Whipped Peanut Butter, you need to pick this up. Again, I got this at Giant and also at Walmart. And it's just so creamy and light. Now, the only thing with this is, it's one tablespoon is two smart points. And if you go to two tablespoons, which I think typically a lot of people will stick with two tablespoons of peanut butter, it does jump up to five smart points. So be careful with that because you don't wanna go overboard with it. But for one tablespoon and an apple, it's like the perfect size treat and it's just, so tasty and delicious and I have been really loving this. I've also put this on some of the Sara Lee toast that I would make in the morning and also with bananas, but you can use it for whatever you like. Like I said, it's just perfect and I like the fact that it's light and it doesn't have any like heaviness to it. So that is it for today. Those are my top five snacks of July. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I find myself down the aisles scanning barcodes of everything that I would be interested in eating. So I thought this would be nice to kind of share some of the things that I've picked up throughout this month, my first month on Weight Watchers, and just share them with you in case you're looking for some kind of treat to, um, to have throughout the day. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you give this a thumbs up so I know to continue doing them and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.